We're going to turn our focus now to a new listing on the Toronto Stock Exchange that keeps a very close watch on people all over the world. Maybe you, high-tech surveillance provider Avigalon, Avigalon Corporation of Vancouver, made its debut on the TSX on Tuesday, and joining us is the company's CEO, Alex Fernandez. Good morning, Alex. Thank you very much for joining us. Before we get into your company and the opportunities that you see for it, Let's talk a little bit about why you decided to go public now. Uh, the capital markets haven't been that conducive to IPOs. Well, um, hey, good morning to you. Um, my experience has been uh, as a CEO for the last 12 years. Uh, and there's been lots of, uh, of, uh, of other tumultuous uh, market events in that period. Um, there's always a demand for fast-growing, uh, profitable companies with a large uh, opportunities, large markets uh, ahead of them. So currently we have uh, a market opportunity of $16 billion that is uh, analysts forecast to grow to nearly double in the next four years and attain a $29 billion in annual revenue globally. Okay, and so you... Vigilant is very well positioned to, uh, to uh, take a leadership role in, in terms of market share. Okay, you guys specialize high depth video surveillance, software and hardware. Talk about some of the stuff. What do you guys sell? What do you make? Well, we've uh, designed uh, the world's first from the bottom, from the ground up, end-to-end -end surveillance system. So it's uh, made up primarily of uh, IP cameras. So we have the world's uh, most powerful uh, 29 million pixel IP uh, camera. It's the, it's the world's first and only. And, but it's not just the cameras. You also need the software and the recording hardware to record all that video and, and manage it and view it, push it out over the Internet, and uh, be able to view it remotely on either a smartphone or a laptop. As you say, it's not just about the camera, but it's quite interesting that your cameras are made in Canada. Tell us a little bit about that, because I can't remember the last time, if ever, I've heard about cameras being uh, manufactured here. True enough. Uh, many people think you have to go to Mexico or China or some, some other uh, foreign market to uh, place to manufacture. And uh, the reason we do it here uh, mainly is we have uh, better quality control, so much tighter quality control and also uh, faster delivery times, so our, our product doesn't have to uh, sit on a boat and uh, get across the ocean. And, um, and also for uh, much more rapid prototyping, so our uh, product development team is able to, to go from design to production uh, much faster, because when you outsource manufacturing offshore, uh, typically it would be three to six months of time just to tool up and get a factory up and running. And, um, and we've invested quite a bit in automation so that we're manufacturing right here in North America. Let's talk about uh, your markets. You, in terms of size, you said about $16 billion, and I think uh, your stuff, if we look at Canada, we're looking at the Rogers Centre, for example, in Toronto, but only 5% of your revenue is from this country. Where is all of your stuff? Where's your gear around the world? Well, we're currently deployed uh, at over 10,000 customer sites around the world in 80 countries, so really it's, it's truly a global market. And uh, approximately 40% uh, of our uh, revenue is coming out of North America. Uh, obviously, the one share of that is the U.S. The, uh, another 40% is coming out of the region we call India, so Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And, um, and then the remaining 20% is coming out of uh, new markets for us, which is India, China, and Latin America. I'm just looking at the calendar. And, uh, you, I'll continue, sorry. Oh, and I was just going to say, and, and, we're, and we're deployed uh, throughout the world in a, a range of different, you know, many countries, but also in different uh, applications, uh, big and small. So, for example, uh, we're deployed in, in the UK at British Associated Ports, uh, monitoring uh, in, in sea traffic. We're uh, installed at a stadium in Canberra, Australia, uh, sports stadiums throughout the world. We've uh, done a significant large airport in Saudi Arabia, one of the largest uh, King Abdulaziz Airport, International Airport, uh, San Diego Metro Transit Authority. So there's a, a broad range of locations and applications for our, for our technology and products. So your cameras are watching us everywhere. As you mentioned, it's a $16 billion uh, industry right at the moment. Last year, you had about $32 million in sales. First half of this year, $26 million.
And I'm just looking at the calendar. I understand you're going to be reporting your results on the 14th of November. What kind of growth uh, have you disclosed, certainly in the prospectus, uh, but what kind of growth are you looking for? Well, what I can tell you is the, the, um, the opportunity ahead of us is great uh, from a historical standpoint. Uh, we were, according to Deloitte, one of the, the big four accounting firms, we were ranked uh, this year as the number one fastest growing software company in all of North America, ahead of uh, such companies as uh, Google and LinkedIn. Uh, in the top 500 technology companies, you know, going beyond just software, uh, we were ranked number fourth out of 500 in, in all of North America. And that includes companies that are also not profitable, so this is a revenue growth. So I'd like to also mention that Another fact that distinguishes us from a lot of uh, fast-growing companies is we're also profitable, and uh, I think that's very key in this in this market. Very interesting story. Um, and history. Yeah, go on, sir. Very interesting story. I'm afraid we're going to have to wrap it up there, sir. Alex Fernandez, uh, CEO of Vigilon Corporation, he joined us from Vancouver.